In part 15, I basically finished the modeling, so I just need to do a few things before I go to the next section. Now one thing I need to do is this. So, I need to add some seams, and you can see I already have some with the head from like the early parts. But I need to give us advice, so let me just do this first. So, that'll just make it easy for me to select what I'm looking for. So one I need to do is this. Around the neck, yeah, control E to mark a seam, like so. Okay, now do around the legs like this. Okay, next one's going to be down here. So let's like this one right here. I want to like down to right here. And here's a shortcut. Instead of having like all these individual edges, I can just do this. Select and then let's do select length and then go shortest path. And that is not what I want. Let's try this. There. Yeah, click on the poly distance and that's how you do it. Now, control you mark this seam right here. Next one is going to be let's see. Um oh yeah, so down here I actually need to do this. Go around here. Wait, is that what I want to do? Well, I will ballet though. Right now. Oop, it almost like that. Okay. Yeah. I'll just make sure it doesn't go too far. I don't think it does. So yeah. Let me just control E well, let me decide this first. Okay, in here and deselect this one right here. Okay, so now I mark to see. Wait. Hold on. Oh no, I actually need to do this. I'll just do it for now. And then let's do the same thing with the back legs since they're like most, since they're like probably identical to the front. Okay, this right here. Okay, these like these ones right here. These ones too. Oh, this one. No, no, this one also. Okay, control E to mark a seam right here. And I'll be back. Okay, so I should need to have this seams removed. So that's going to be. Let me rotate this first to get a better view. Okay, so. I need to do this. Select these ones right here. Well, first, these things I need to add that I didn't add before. These ones right here. Control E mark seam. And now I can go ahead and take these ones. Well, I'll just do this. Uh, I meant the click right here. Uh, I'm not selecting anything I don't want. Good. Control E to deselect. Well, Control E to cleave seam this time because. Yeah, I want to get rid of them here. And now the next thing is this. Let's go over here. Select the same thing over here and stuff. Okay, also clear seam here. Okay, so the only seam left I need to do is going to run a tail like this. Nope, this one. Okay, mark seam this time. And now the mark seam is pretty much done. So I'm going to save this and I'll be back. Okay, so now let me actually do this. With the seams being done already, all I have to do now is this. Right now the origin point is actually going to be right at the center where its head is, which I don't want. I actually want to put it down here. Um, actually, yeah, so here's how I can do that. So, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm just like, let's see if I can do this. Yes. The trick is that if you have seams marked and you have a board all around the thing you're selecting, it only selects that portion of it. Which is helpful here because I need this. Okay, those two are selected. I'm now going to press Shift S. Curse is selected. And it puts what I want except for one thing. If I go over here to the cursor, because of the mean modifier thing, it doesn't register the two halves. It only does the one. It puts it right there. And I don't want that. So you go to View, 3 Cursor. The Y axis, I'm sorry, X axis, press zero, and now it's exactly where I want it to be. And now I'm going to do this. Out of edit mode, 
I'm now going to go to object and then of course go to set origin and then origin 3 cursor and that's how you do that. So yeah, that's pretty much done. First let me do this. Okay, so now let me save this guy. And now you're back. Okay, so now I'm pretty much done this guy too. I did say like part 10, that's going to do two versions. And I've already done a set for the two-layer form. And I just finished the four-layer form. So if I were to do this, here's what it looks like. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. But that's okay because, well, first let me put this to this collection right here. And then go over here. Okay, so yes, yeah, so now you have the two leg version and the four leg version right here. And yes, he has bigger feet than he does. Oh, another thing is, um, here, yeah, let me just select these two right here. So I did duplicate because while well, looking ahead to feel this guy in like the other, like, parallel part of this one, I actually um, want to make cards in case I need to go back to it. But since I pretty much got done with it, I'm just going to delete these now, and they're gone. Okay, so. <laughs> I know it's kind of funny. So yeah, so next time I continue, I can actually work on the texturing. I'm not sure when that's going to come out, but I will try to plan at least a month later. I'm not sure though, because I have other things I have to do in my life. And so, yeah, so let me just do this. Let me save it first, like so. Oh yeah, another thing is, so if I were to hide this guy for a second, uh, this one. Yeah, so you can see over here, that's how the portions are. Let me hide the camera lights too. So I'll go over here though. Yeah, so uh, let me just get to match better the reference image. Yeah, you can see that this one, just like with the, uh, you know, two-layer form where you have the head is actually longer than over here. You can kind of see that here. And also, I think this guy's body is actually longer than this one. So the reason why it's called mammoth because, well, they're known to be orange with like brown or black legs, or I guess arms legs here, and they have some white on them, they have like black, and also the thing that makes them main to be this black thing on the back. So, yeah, so that's how that is. And this part's going to be only like about less than 10 minutes, but that's okay because, well, that's all I need to do, so. Oh yeah, one more thing if I go is, so with the Tuary version, I actually had like eight parts required for that. This one had only six. So what's gonna happen is that it's gonna resume back to back to 18 with the 2A1. So instead of going like 17, 18, and 19 for this series, it just be it'll skip 17, 18. So it'll be 16 and then do 19. So that's how that's gonna work. So I'll see you in part 19.